All right, folks. This is the march. Can you make a film? Get a film. Yeah, I'm. I'm doing a video. Yeah, this is the march. This is what happens when the bees decide where they want to live, and they make a concerted, uh, unified decision to move in. And so, it doesn't get any better than this. In fact, well, are you glad you bothered to come? Yes, I am. I'm very glad. Uh, you see what I talk about, how thick they are down in there. Well, the first few pictures I thought, eh, there wasn't that many. But no, now, it, yeah, they weren't. when I got out here and, and saw it, it's like, yeah. yeah. That's... yeah I couldn't get, you know, I was looking, I was doing it from a distance. So and the, and the were, grass was kind of high. Were, like I said, yeah. there were just hundreds in the air. But as it got in shadow and the temperature dropped, they really just. Well, this, this is the, the mark that every beekeeper lives for. Because when you see them doing this, you know you got them, and uh, and and they're happy. I mean, this is like all day long. They've been wondering where are we going to spend the night, and uh, now it's like okay, we got it. And so let you see what that whole porch is for. Yeah, there you go. How's that? I told you you were going to see a spectacle, didn't I? Yeah, that's a nice size swarm. And I may have to, I'll stick another box on there because this is a large swarm. Oh, good. good. I told you they were just, you're right. You know, they were so thick. Yeah, you, you're, the, the, the pictures didn't do it justice. But when I got the one on the cell phone, I yeah. said, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah I, could, I couldn't get close until, until they swarmed and, and got really. Until they got. The temper started dropping, and Alan said, I think I can get a picture so was, with my cell phone now. <laughs> so I was out uh, uh, <clears throat> on the back side of the frame for deer. Yeah, this is, this is really good. This is really good. They're liking it. Well, you don't generally get honey from the hive the first year. Yeah. But uh but yeah. This this hive uh this this is what we call a primary swarm. Oh good, good. It's so you really think it fell it was probably up in one of these trees? Yeah. Yeah, they don't they don't never land on the ground. Yeah. No. That's that's a no no. Because that's where predators get you. But when they fall in a big ball like that, mm -hmm. they, they end up on the ground and they just stay there. So, yeah, now they're orienting. You know, we're back here all the time filling up bird feeders and watering plants and stuff. And I, ne I didn't I, You didn't see it yesterday afternoon. No, they were actually it? swarming before we... Initially, there was just a small bunch on the ground. Uh-huh. And they were actually they were two, everywhere. Two places, but they were just warm. Wow. Yeah, but that was some storm. They actually closed Brook Green in April. It's open till seven. They closed it at five yesterday. Oh, really? Because of the the wind, the wind and the the uh, rain and you know security watches the weather to see what's coming through. Have you seen the queen go in? No, I haven't. I'm going to stop.